Hello Virgo, it's Milady from Milady's Way here, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 10. Hold up. Alright, so it's telling you stop doing what you're doing. Stop dealing with this person. You know they don't like you and they're dealing with their ex, okay? That's for some of you. Uh, it's, not on, it's not for all of you, it's for some of you. All right, so Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. It's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of um, October 9th through the 16th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and let's get this show on the road, okay? All right, Virgo, Virgo. Whew. What's going on with the Virgo? Virgo love reading for October, October 9th through the 16th, 2017. October 9th through the 16th, 2017. Love reading, love reading, love reading. Alright, so it seems like some kind of power struggle is going on, and you may be losing, or you could be dealing with a boss, you could be dealing with somebody at work, you know, somebody that you're um, under at work, okay? Mmm. Okay, it's getting a little spicy now, so it seems like you may be dealing with your old boss or uh, maybe your old boss is your ex you know or your boss is your ex okay okay so it seems like whatever this is you're not sleeping with this person unless you haven't in in a while or this may be the issue okay Okay, we got two cards, three cards. All right, I'm not keeping this. And this one's sticking out too. All right, so somebody's pissed off in this situation. This could be a whole different story. But somebody's pissed off because somebody really doesn't love them. And it seems like you could have knew this, but you were acting like this at first. Or this could be the, the partner against you. Seems like this was meant to happen. And it, it, it just wasn't meant to be a good outcome. And then somebody was on their way. So I feel like this might have something to do with this. Like this person ended up leaving you alone or you end up leaving them alone and then one of you ended up being the other one's boss but it's like a weird feeling because you know you're there and you used to sleep with this person okay and now they telling you what to do and you gotta listen all right what's going on with the virgo 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 mm -mm -mm. all right there we go again from the beginning so it's like uh the situation you guys stopped talking or dealing with each other because somebody was acting like they didn't want it or now huh, now that this person is your boss they start treating you like they don't want you yeah okay yeah so as soon as they stepped up a little bit they um kind of tossed you out okay so I feel like, right, first thing I've seen is cheating. So you just thought this person was cheating. Um, but it's not that. They just feel like they're better than you. Okay? All right, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. Yikes. <laughs> okay, so... It seems like what you thought about this person wasn't true. But I'm feeling like with this here, it makes me feel like this person was married. This person was connected to somebody. Or this could have been you connected to somebody. But I'm feeling like somebody feeling like it was another person involved. It wasn't just you, the wife, and them. I feel like it was you, them, and another wife, uh, girlfriend or another boyfriend. It was like, Jesus. You feel like it was more than just you and the wife or you and the husband. So you felt like it was you, the husband, and another person, but it was just the husband or wife that they didn't want that they was telling you about. 
Okay. This is crazy. All right. All right, we're going to clarify this vision. So look, it's clarifying itself. Okay, it seems like somebody just wasn't ready to look for things like what they were. Like I said, it's like um, this person had a wife or a husband. But it seemed like you were using, like it must be somebody else outside of the wife or the husband because you knew about them. You didn't feel like there was a threat. So you're like, why are they acting all weird? But it's it's just because of the job. It wasn't because they added another person to switch you off with another person. This is crazy. Okay, we're going to have to clarify this third party situation thing. Again, what is this third party for the Virgo? What is this third party for the Virgo? Jesus. Okay, so maybe some secrets end up coming out about that. What is this moon card? Moon card for the Virgo. Wow. Okay, so it's starting to feel like maybe the the wife or the husband found out about this. And this is one of the reasons other than this, they think they're more powerful than you than they let you go. But I'm feeling like you think it was just another girlfriend or boyfriend but i feel like it has to do with the wife or the husband okay yeah this is definitely only gonna be for a handful of people because i do not see in a lot of people go through this but it's for you all right so so it seems like somebody is um trying to move closer to you Yeah, somebody is trying to move closer to you or you're trying to move closer to somebody, but it seems like you just can't get there. And that's because, I mean, I feel like they're trying to make a happy home. They're trying to fix their home, you know? And I feel like the partner, the, the wife or the husband or the longtime partner found out and they, like, get rid of them. Okay? I don't feel like they're leaving them no time soon. All right, what's going on from the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Virgo love reading. Virgo love reading. I don't know why I want to say August. So maybe something happened in August or... Yeah, something must have happened in August. Alright, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Maybe is Virgo in August? I don't know. Alright, what's going on with the Virgo love reading? I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Love reading, October, October, October 9th through the 16th, 2017. Okay. So you could be dealing with somebody who's just unbalanced, um, unstructured, just all over the place. Very messy person. Okay. Or this could be you. There you go. There you go. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know I'm hearing date site as well I don't know what that means but I don't know maybe you guys met on a date site before you start working together or something all right what's going on with the Virgo love reading October 9th through the 16th mm. okay I could have swore I felt something flip over Okay. All right, so we got the nine of coins. Nine of coins. All right, many of your dreams are approaching. It is now time for financial gain and realization of your goals. So, this could... Sorry, possibly you be being the boss. And then you finally got there, you know, and next thing you know, you see this person that you was dating there, you know, and they feeling like they're going to get a little extra. All right, so now we got the page of coins. Um, a time to pursue education and learn new things. 
a time to explore new economic activities, exciting news, whether by letter or by words will come. Whew, okay. So, you're not even, if you're the boss, or, I mean, I mean, this is to, I don't know. But if you, you're the boss, you're not even thinking about this person like this. You're not even thinking about, you know, dealing with this person in no other kind of way as worker boss situation. And this person think that, you know, this little thing y'all had in the past is going to, like, build up to something. Wow. All right, so eight of swords. Eight of swords. All right, uh, to, nope, eight of swords. All right, a feeling of being held prisoner, trapped by some force, a situation difficult to escape from. A card that signals confusion, confusion or disruption often symbolize female, quite jealous, pretentious, insecure, and troubled. So it seems like, yeah, this like whole little relationship thing is in one person's head. Like they really feel like that they had something with this person. I feel like in some cases they didn't even sleep together. And if they did, it was just like once or twice. But it was like, I feel like it was a whole lot of internet dating probably or text messages and some uh, stuff. You know, but it's seeming like somebody is like, I don't know, I want to say... Uh, I don't want to say nothing mean, but like just um, obsessed, okay? Okay. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. All right, and it says, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not let your pride stop you from making the change. So it's like, I feel like whoever the boss is, they starting to feel bad about, um, you know, what happened in the past with this other person. So I'm feeling like they didn't even, in some cases, I don't feel like they even knew you were married or y'all was living together. They didn't know how strong the marriage connection was, but now, oh Jesus. Whew. I don't know. All I gotta say is watch out. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.